welcome guys <coughs> how are you guys how are you doing okay now today what we are going to do is um, we are going to make a report which will going to show the whole no no not a whole summary which will only be going to show um, show the sales or a total amount for between two dates okay so go to your ex open your solution explorer right click add uh, yeah windows form summary drag and drop crystal report viewer create a new crystal report right summary okay select standard select uh, whatever your connection was last time select open DPO selected table and details next fields to display um, we have to only show the amount okay for now uh, 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 for you if you want to show whole details you can select them all if you want to show only specific details you can select one or whatever you like so I'm going to select amount only and only amount just that and I'm going to order it group by group by date next some yeah exactly I need that what's this group that will be sorted okay mm, chart bar chart sum of amount per date okay that's good you can you you can select line chart by chart on change of details date hmm. show some sum of details amount okay next no need to filter any okay I would prefer this let's hit finish oh shit I have a form with the same name as a crystal report so this makes an error what it actually do it would create a circular dependency let's rename it make sure you don't do that make it a summary viewer yes build build started build started missing partial modifier another partial declaration of this type like this I sure then I have to delete this let's see what will happen now ok build succeed go to right click add windows form summary viewer ok select uh, uh, drag and drop this crystal report viewer choose report and select summary ok now what happened ok so the, we first may look how it look alike 
Mm. So I have only made an entry at day 8 26 to 2012. And today is 9 5 12. Grand total is this. It's pretty doing all the job. Now, what we have to do is to make parameters which will allow us to check these all dates between uh, to check this amount between two dates okay now first create it okay okay guys open this field explorer right click on parameter fill select new from date date set just hit ok make another parameter right to date date ok now go to special fields find record selection formula right click and hit find in formulas this formula workshop will open selection uh, opens uh, open the tree of selection formulas select record selection and dying program body over here write details dot date is greater than or equals to from date and details dot date is less than or equals to to date let's check it no errors found seven close look if everything will go good these two little icons will come up on these these two little images will come up on these two parameter fields okay so for testing go to program write summary report viewer and hit F5 This is a good bonus for us. We don't have to make any sort of fee, uh, any sort of controls, which is going to get the date or the which is going to enter the values of the parameters. Now we have this. All you can select it and just hit OK. It's very handy and it's very useful and it's very easy. So let's write or let's select August. August or make it a July 31st it's a prom date and what about today till today hit ok let's see exactly the awesome report comes up now we will going to make an another entry okay and let's see what will happen and this will probably be the last or maybe the second last tutorial no no the second last because I have to also mention how I how click once application click once installer are configured for auto updating feature functionality okay so get it out close it select over here main. you might not have this main window in your intelligence if so if this is a problem then make sure you s write the name of a targeting form okay so let's hey try right customer name for car this one send and it's a project one card details 
cheap quality quantity 100 rate 100 500 and 500 proceed hope everything must go well okay so you get the receipt you get awesome receipt now when you have received that means you have a new entry add 9 525 with a blue in it let's close it and oh we have to also make a main window for user so that it will able him to Navigate through summaries and reports and deleting functionality also. So for now, let's compromise. Patron from date November, uh, from date August, July to date September 40. Hit OK. Now it looks fantastic. You have a grand total, you have a dates, a date with a time amount, and you have perfectly awesome bar charts. So it's pretty easy and pretty fantastic and pretty awesome. So I hope it's all clear to you. And now we are going to make some main window called main window the main uh, which will menu which will going to help user to navigate through different vi uh, through windows okay so let's hit close and for now it's let's say goodbye for now.